Our next set of projects will all be flipped and shown together in an adorable vignette for spring. All right, so I thrifted this adorable bunny and based on your comments and also I guess on ultimate decision, I've decided to paint this little bunny. So I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to mess up because she's so cute. I'm going to start by painting with Paisley by Fusion. It's just as to Now we're going to take some white wax by DIY and we are going to be covering the entire bunny and then we're going to wipe back the excess to give it more of a kind of concrete look to it. It's just us two. to add a fun carrot and so I used a spindle I painted it with terracotta by Dixie Bell and that's um, from the chalk mineral the mineral chalk paint line and then I drilled a hole at the top added some greenery and now you're seeing me covering it with um, some antiquing glaze by fusion and I'm sorry I didn't get all of that on camera I completely forgot All right, I have these eggs that I've had for probably several years, and I love that they have the flat base here, so they stand up perfectly on their own. I saw a video from Sonnet's Garden Blooms from a couple years ago, I think, where she took book pages and decoupage them onto these eggs. We're gonna try to do something similar to that in today's video. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is seal up all of these eggs with tight bonds just to keep them from popping open while we're doing the bulk of our project today. Then the next step is to get some decoupage medium. I use decoupage matte by Decor Art. And we're gonna rip up paper. This is a very old um, vintage paper. I feel like I remember the copyright being like 1966 maybe of the book that I had. And it was a book that had all text in Spanish, which I am bilingual and so I loved that too. Um, we are ripping them up, spraying, paint, spraying them with a little bit of water, decoupaging them on to our eggs. And I didn't take you through every single part of that process, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I'm doing this. Um, I'm getting it all the way around, front, back, sides, bottom of each of these eggs. Once that's complete, I'm taking these tiny little transfers of these flowers. I think I got these off of Timu a year ago, and they just kind of went into my stash, 
And as I was trying to find a way to replicate the beautiful work that I saw Sonnet do on her video, I thought of these because I didn't know when else I would be able to use them and it kind of worked perfectly for this. So I'm cutting out the different flowers and I'm transferring them on to each of the eggs in random places just to add a little bit more color, a little more dimension to each of those eggs. The other great thing about using these transfers is if there were any spots where some of the original color of the eggs showed through, I made sure to put the transfer right on top of that little spot that was showing. So that just kind of allowed it to all look a lot more complete. For the next step, I have these little uh, wooden discs that I had. They came in a bulk order of random wood scraps that I got about a year ago on Amazon. I'm painting them with Brook by Fusion, and I'm gonna use these as the base to each of my eggs. This just gives it a little bit more, as I said, that the eggs are flat, but this is gonna help it have a little bit more weight so they don't knock over very easily. And then it also gave me a great idea that you will see coming up very soon. Once those are dry, I'm just using some tight bond, quick and thick, to glue each of those discs to each of the four eggs, and they will serve as a base. As I was finishing this, I remembered these candle holders that I had thrifted a while ago, and I had painted them white. I didn't like the way they looked. There was some bleed through. I put them to the side and didn't touch them again. I brought them back out and now what I've decided to do is I'm painting over the original white paint with Brook by Fusion and you'll see me do that here and I'm actually going to use these to help display these eggs in a variety of levels um, in our vignette that you will see at the end. So this actually was a perfect way and those little discs that are under those eggs fit perfectly inside of those, um, I guess, the holes that are for the candles. that we flipped just now all together in a small vignette. I was really excited about how these all looked together. I'm so excited about that carrot. There will definitely be more of those coming soon and I promise to get a better video tutorial next time. Um, please comment below, let me know what you think. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and I look forward to being back here with you soon. Mm -hmm.